Hello, this is Shelby on Shelby's Edge. Today what I'm working on is pet and pet hatching. Since after all it is um, double pet experience day for members, I have a plan of attack. I have some pets that, about three of them, they're all first gen, that I am planning on, oh, wrong one, planning on hatching together. The first one is Gizmo, he is my Yeti. He's got double crit that I'm looking at. What I really want to do is a pet that has double crit and double damage. The Epic Soulful Knight has one crit and one damage. And so I'm gonna have to do this in a few steps. And then the Ancient Yellow Cactus, he's got um, a damage. So my plan is to get double damage and then possibly double crit. I want the double damage more than anything. So I'm going to hatch the Soulful Knight with the Cactus Hopper. And then after I'm done with that, in the second video, I'm going to hatch that second gen pet with my Yeti to hopefully get it close to what I am looking for. So here goes nothing. I'm going to hatch this pet myself. Okay, I got the Soulful Knight. I want that one. So now I need to look for my Cactus Hopper. I have a bunch of them with um, selfish talents. I like the pet, but they don't have very good talents. So I'm going to have to just work on those later on. Okay, I got my Soulful Knight and my Yellow, ca yellow Cactus Hopper. I'm going to hatch those two. Okay and it's Queen Charlie. Use an elixir real quick to hatch this sucker, so hatching elixir. Thank God for crowns. <clears throat> okay, now let's see if we get lucky. I was hoping from this pet to get the double damage maybe one crit. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping for no selfish talents because I deem the pet no good after that. For Queen Charlie, that is my new pet that I just hatched in. It's going to be a yellow cactus hopper. Okay. So here goes nothing. Let the training begin. Alright guys, the moment we're waiting for Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna just do my fancy yogurt again and let's see what the first talent is that we get. Okay, I got a unicorn. That's not bad. And then a selfish talent. Okay, we'll try again and see what we get on the next talent. Okay, my pet is almost to an adult after I choose this snack. Deem what talent I get. I don't worry too much about intellect. Maybe I should, but what I'm really going for, all I'm worried about right now is strength, will, and power, and maybe a little bit of agility, because I want my double damage and crit. Okay, so we're going to go with fancy yogurt again. And, oh, we got a crit. So I'm going to go one more to see what we get. And then I'll see if I am going to hatch this second gen pet with my Yeti like I originally planned. We're about halfway there, um, not quite where I want to be yet. On my pets, um, I garden a lot, so I have quite a bit of the fancy yogurts and um, I've been training them for a few hours today just to get them to where I want them. Okay guys, here is the moment of truth. Okay, I am going to max out on strength and power's already maxed out. Let's hope for a good ability. All right, I got my damage. And then of course I have a selfish talent. Um, these are good, like if you do the pet derbies and stuff, but I don't. So let's see what we have. Charlie is the one I have equipped. I got a damage and a crit. What I want is a double damage and double crit. 
So I may have to go from what I originally was planning on doing. Because I got a damage and a crit and the unicorn spell. I do like that. Um, so I will have to decide in my next video which ones that I do hatch together. Because I want another damage. I might go for these two. The soulful knight and then the yellow cactus hopper. And then go on to my yeti. We'll have to see. Um... Thank you guys for watching this video, and uh, I will mark the next one part two if you want to keep watching this little series to see if I can get a halfway decent pet. See you all soon.